Hello, and welcome to Vampire the Masquerade. Surprisingly, the technical difficulties weren't as many as I expected last time. with one. I'll go with mail today. Stuck in the traffic after a concert and the guy behind you is laying on the horn. Your friends are in the car are urging you to park the car and help them stick this guy's horn somewhere uncomfortable. Do you? Get out and pull the guy out of the car and put him in the hospital. Talk your friends down. You don't need a lawsuit or jail time. Honestly, voice of reason. Bouncer at the opening of an exclusive nightclub won't let you inside you to the party with all the beautiful people. Do you? Convince him you work for the director, you know who. You'll be bringing him with you next time. Hide out by the back exit, wait for someone to leave, and slip in undetected. Bribe him! Everyone has a price. It's worth it to know... It's worth it to get to know the kind of people who die. Hmm. It's late. You are at the red spot. Waiting for your microwave burrito to hear you. There are three arcade games to waste time on. Which do you play? The fighting game? The beat em up game where you can pick up the bat and womp the hordes of generic thugs. The sniper game with the realistic gun for control. Honestly, for me, it's a hard choice between two and three. Well, let's go with three. In a club, you're, you spot your ex-roommate who skipped out after taking your stuff and leaving you with a stack of bills. He looks dead drunk. Do you? Grab him by the head and repeatedly bash him in his face into the bar. Or call the cops. See you in court, buddy. I oh, see my option isn't on there. It's a shame. I am the guy who knows a guy, true. Uh, da -da -da -da. Probably would end up with that though. You're in a nightclub having a damn good time. When you realize you're out of no money, no cash, no fun, do you? Seduce somebody and have them pay for your drinks. Time it just right so you can snatch a bottle when the bartender isn't looking. Go home and read a book while listening to music. Something more intellectually stimulating than wasting life in a lame club. Unfortunately, I lean a little more towards three. An intruder has broken into your house and entered the room. Oh dear. You have no choice but to confront them, do you? Overpower and wrestle them to the ground, baking as many bones as possible. Grab the heavy lamp next to your bed and smash their face in. Grab your gun and fire into them. You'd keep one next to the bed for this very reason. Oh, you see, I live in Canada. So... Technically, I could either do two or three, but three wouldn't be a gun. It would probably be one of the blunt instruments I have nearby, or sharp instruments. Depends on the day. I think I'll go with the implication of two. As you're walking home late one night, you hear footsteps, glance back, and suddenly realize somebody is following you. Do you? Turn and confront them! Duck behind a tree to lose them. Yeah. Catch them off guard, but in effect, you're confronting them by the end of it, so. Your new neighbor is everything you've ever wanted in someone. How do you get them to go out with you? Spend a good amount of time with them around the windows, topless. They'll come running in no time. They'll probably be impressed by how hard you work, and the flashing new car can't help either. Can't hurt. Fair enough. You hear a noise in the middle of the night and decide to investigate. Do you grab the metal bat under your bed? The gun in the nightstand? I've been over this. I live in Canada. 
The world's a cruel and unforgiving place, but you've gotten by so far. Why? It may be cruel for you, but for me it's hilarious. When you're as talented and as attractive as I am, the world is your plaything. I mean... You have been embraced by the Malkavian clan, inflicted with insanity. Malkavians use their madness to provide them with the surprising and sometimes disturbing insights. The inner voice may tell them of someone's true intent, or it may betray them completely. Alright, sounds good. I like hop text. Your, vampire, your vampire's attributes and abilities have now been determined and are entered into the, its character sheet. Which you will see next. As you tour the character sheet, you may make changes to the character or simply play it as it is. Decent manipulator, decent perception, decent wit. Talents! I'm a fighter, apparently. Which I'm fine with. Abilities? Melee! I'm good with that. Stealth! Very good with that. Knowledge computers, I wish. Not so much with finance. Very good with investigation and scholarship. I'm good with those as well. Uh, yeah. As much as I like uh, subterfuge, I might take that on another level if I can. Uh, these are your attributes and abilities, which feats are derived from them. Attributes are your inherent character traits and can be broken down into three categories. Social, physical, and mental. Abilities are things that you learn and are broken down into three categories. Talents, skills, and knowledges. Members of the insane Malkavian clan possess a dark intellect. And so your strongest attribute is mental, in which you have two points you can spend. You also have one point to spend in social and no points in physical, your weakest attribute. As for abilities, being Malkavian gives you an advantage in your insightful knowledges, which you have three points to spend. You only have an average, uh, average abilities in skills, two points, and are weak in talents, one point. I... Feats, that are, uh, feats are actions you can perform in the game. Feats are derived from adding on an a, a attribute and ability. An example would be a feat of lockpicking, which is derived from the ability, uh, sorry, the attribute of dexterity and the ability of security. Hovering over the mouse pointer over feat will highlight the attributes and ability which it is dependent. I. You are a mem member of the Malkavian clan. Thank you, I've been told this three times now. Curse with incurable insanity. Hey, Belkavians are free. Yeah. Belkavians are free from the confines of rationality, and this freedom is uh, coupled with the uncanny insight of a strange wisdom that cannot be perceived by the sane. I'll give you that. Their disciplines are auspex, aura perception, dimension, madness channeling, and obfuscation, invisibility. I'm good with this. This is your humanity. Seven is the norm, ten is saintly, and the lower you go, the closer to beast you become. Also, the lower your humanity, the greater chance of you going into a frenzy. When a vampire goes into a frenzy, he loses all control and attacks any and all things around him. However, as you gain experience, you can spend experience points to increase your humanity. I... This is where your masquerade violations are displayed. The masquerade is a code by which many vampires unlive. Thank you. Anytime a vampire is seen doing a supernatural act by a mortal, it is considered a masquerade violation. You have five chances. Each strike will have repercussions. If you commit five masquerade violations, you will be dealt with harshly. This is where all information on things you are hovering over are displayed. I mean, that's the simplest box so far. Auto level on off is a toggleable that allows you to decide whether or not you want the computer to allocate the experience points you earn in the game among your ability, uh, attributes, abilities, and disciplines, or whether you wish to allocate them yourself. The reset stats button is another toggle that allows you to clear out your point allocation. 
so that you can start over or return them in the, into their last settings. Cancel button allows you to return the last point in the game without changing your character sheet. Once you are satisfied with your character settings, click on the Accept button to play the game. I mean, that sounds relatively good to me. Oh. My name is unnamed. Fix that in a moment. Does your character's ability to notice hidden details, perception attribute, and the investigation ability both contribute to the uh, inspection feat? I. Equation isn't bad. Color check effect. We don't have any extra points for that yet. I'm actually good with what I have right now. Uh, I think I'm good with that. Killing blood reserves. <laughs> Apparently, the text box is in the top left. I think I was just shown all the wrong pointy bits. Yes, far too many pointy bits. I could do with a little more hair, however. And apparently placing my nipple ring in the right location. Oh no, I've been impaled.
My apologies for disrupting any business or interfering with prior engagements you may have had this evening. You're a hulking bastard, you are. The affair that gathers us together tonight is a troubling one. We are here because the laws that bind our society, the laws that are the fabric of our existence, have been broken. As prince, I am within my right to grant or deny the kindred of this city the privilege of siren. Many of you have come to me seeking permission, and I have endorsed some of these requests. However, the accused that sits before you tonight does not refuse permission. Indeed, my permission was never sought at all. They were caught shortly after the embrace of this child. It pains me to announce the sentence, as up to tonight I considered the accused a loyal and upstanding member of our organization. But as some of you may know, the penalty for this transgression is death. Know that I am no more adjudicator than I am a servant to the law that governs us all. Let tonight's proceedings serve as a reminder to our community that we must adhere to the code that binds our society, lest we endanger all of our breath. Forgive me. Let the penalty commence. I think your sword needs to be a little bit bigger, friend. Which leads to the fate of ill-begotten progeny. Without a sire, most child are doomed to walk the earth never knowing their place, their responsibility, and most importantly, the laws they must obey. Therefore, I have decided that this is bullshit! Did I see a Nostaferu? I mean, the executioner isn't very pretty either, but... I have decided to let this kindred live. They shall be instructed in the ways of our kind, and be granted the same rights. Let no one say I am unsympathetic to the plights and causes of this community. I think Captain Glass is up there. And I hope their significance is not lost. Good evening. Your sire, tragic, my apologies. But you see, there is a strict code of conduct that all of us must, must adhere to if we wish to survive. When someone, anyone, breaks these laws, they undermine the well-worn fabric of our centuries-old society. I have a very hippie walk. Predicament. Allowing you to live makes me directly responsible for your subsequent behavior. So, what I'm offering is not generosity, but the opportunity to transcend the fate woven by your sire. This is your trial. You will be brought to Santa Monica. There, you will meet an agent by the name of Mercurio. He will provide the details of your labor. I've shown you great clemency. Prove it was more than a wasted gesture, Fledgner. Don't come back until you do. Good evening. Good evening. Yeah. Not racist. Something tells me someone is not enthused with my statement. Da -da -da, top of you with the first and third quest. Apparently, I'm right up against the wall. Reign of Ages plots against to wash away the revelation. What? Oh man! And you're a goddamn Malkavian too. Wow! You really are. Who is this dark demon I see before me? I'm Jack. What's important is I'm offering help. You make it back to Santa Monica with your high school trade life story, okay? Till then, I got about the 
waste my time. You in or out? I shall attack your Dr. Lynch. I am where I am, that's not in the theater of death. Right, it's stuffy in there, huh? This is much better. Now, we ain't got much time, but I figure somebody should fill you in on the bare bones stuff at least. You know, you could save your hide. You look wobbly. You even had a drink yet? My minds don't seem to remember. Apparently, it's sweet like a prom day. Sweet like a cup of tea, maybe. How do I do this dread deed? Hot, cold, burning thirst, and fangs of the hunter. Yeah, go for it. Be sure, though, and this is important, so listen up. Be sure not to drain them dry, okay? Might be hard to resist, but don't kill them. I go to drain the luscious crimson liquid. Ooh, a blood pool. Fuel for your vampire vampire powers. Or disciplines. When your blood pools low, you need to refill it. Humans are an abundant source in most areas of the game. One is in the alley around the corner. I. Excuse me, sir. Can I lick your face? To feed, approach a victim and press the free feed key, default F. When you are close, it is important that humans do not see you feed on other humans. I wonder why. Once you begin to feed on your victim, you will see this bar appear. This bar represents your victim's blood pool. Should you stop feeding before emptying his blood pool? You're sorry. You should stop feeding before emptying his blood pool and killing him. Press feed, default F, again to stop feeding. Something tells me this isn't your car, buddy. Nom nom nom. I mean, there doesn't seem to be much against it. I don't think you're doing so well now, buddy. Ooh, I'm not liking that. Oh, sensitivity. Okay. Woo! Much better. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Hell yeah, you're feeling it. I can see it in your eyes. You're a born-again predator. Feeling that blood bubbling inside you, victim. Well, that's it, kid. That's what it's all about right there. I mean, it wasn't Ickin's cupcakes, but it's good enough. Oh, spooky. And when do I choose the color of my cape? All right, now you got the blood, you're feeling all kick ass, feeling better than your best day living. But wait, it gets better. All kindred, kindred, that's a our word for vampire. All kindred have a few things in common. Think that then right square above humans on the food chain. Tell me this tale. Like the sharpest senses, a body that can take a beating. And if you play your cards right, eternal life. That's no sure bet, but still a chance at immortality. Nice. And that's just for starters. French benefits for joining the club. Practical immortality. I'm good with this. Well, you can still be destroyed, but forget the books and the movies. Garlic, worth it. A cross, shove it right up their ass. <laughs> a stake, only if it catches you in the heart. Running water? That's no problem. 
I made. <laughs> now, a shotgun blast to the head. Oh, that's trouble, boy. Fire, that's real trouble. Sunlight, well, you can mention sunrise, but it's all over, kiddo. Get it? I like a bad sunburn. Dot dot dot. That is a very weak sounding gun. Bottom of your screen is the icon. It is the use icon. This icon appears when you are able to use the object in front of you. Use the Use key, default E, to use the object that it indicates. The Use icon is, a con is context sensitive. That is, it will look different depending on the object you can use. In this case, the door that can be opened. I think you might be fucked a little bit soon, sir. Floaty controls are floaty. Jump key, default space. Jump on the boxes and against the wall to the walkway above. Oh goody. Oh, this is where that comes in handy. Managed to get myself stuck already. Thankfully, somebody super glued everything here together. Ooh, lockpick. Your feats are combinations of your various abilities and attributes. The higher level your feat scores, the better you are at the activities they influence. They may have. Inspection is a feat. It is a combination of perception and investigation. It allows you to see hidden secret things. For example, the lockpicks on the crate in front of you. You can find your feats listed on the right hand side of your character sheet. I, I think we've been there once already. I can pick it up using the E key. But I'm close enough to lick it anyways. Ooh, even gun. Shiny. But I wanna go in there. Oh. Come down here. Mostly mindless, bloodthirsty assholes. That's all you Mostly. Do, right? Where does this path lead? figured they'd leave a little hell and put a little heat on the new prince. Tell me of the Jester Prince. If not, the storm. Heads up. Back away. They have lichen. And the wimpiest sounding Uzis I have ever heard. After lichen. Tasty. Dusty. Dumb frenzied sabat bastards. All right, we gotta go look out the back quick. I'll stay and keep a watch out. You get us into the office. The door's just around the corner here. I shall invade this office. Da -da -da. Quest log hit L. Eight. I'll forget that in about five minutes. Oh wait. Wee. I wanna look at this one. When the door is locked, you will see the use icon. Lock picking, a combination of dexterity and security, is a feat that helps you get into uh 
and get into locked spaces with a lockpick. When you see this icon, press the use key. Try to open it, uh, it with your lockpick. <sighs> Excuse me. Once you've begun lock picking, you will see this bar it represents the time needed to pick the lock. If the value of your lock picking feed is equal to or greater than the difficulty of the lock, you will be able to pick it. Oh my god, it was a goat! He wished to open the door. I'm sorry? What? Excuse? Excuse? Ah, uh, shortcut. No, actually, no, no. Not exactly an angel in life, were you? I knew my fair share of demons. Why need we hide our nature? It's the same reason you don't let humans see you eating. It's why the wolf doesn't want the sheep to know he's there. It's also why you don't go juggling dumpsters or outrun the 815 from Sacramento. And it's why you didn't know any of this when you woke up this morning. My eyes are beginning to open. Keep our secret secret and you'll make things easier on all of us. We're living in the age of cell phone cameras. Fuck ups ain't tolerated. Makes sense enough, right? Well, it ain't a casual thing for a fledgling like you. My mind is beginning to cloud, shine a light and explain. That party back there with the guy in the suit and the Majula Gorilla? With the assholes that put your sire to death? That's the Camarilla. They make a tidy business out of enforcing vampire laws like this one. Is Camarilla my comrades? <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you what I think some other time, maybe. I like to let people form their own opinions. My minds have many opinions. Most of them disagree with each other. All right, now don't worry, because I know the area a little. You know what? That's the one thing. Hand me a picture. Do what you gotta do. Theft, destruction of property, breaking and entering. <laughs> These will be the least of your sins before the night's out. Good. So look around you. You gotta get out the back there through that magnetically sealed door. There must be a key someplace. I shall seek this key. Area indicator. The icon to the left indicates what you are uh, indicates that you are in a combat area. Combat, anything goes. Masquerade. Respect the masquerade. Asylum. Vampire or neutral gown. No combat or disciplines are allowed ex except blood buff while lock picking. Hey. In masquerade areas, breaking the masquerade can have dire consequences, such as the unwanted attention of vampire hunters. After five violations, your game is over. Your current number of violations is displayed in the upper right corner of your character sheet. When you can read a note, you will see the use icon. Readables can be various items like clipboards, newspapers, letters. You can read note uh, to read these notes. Press the use key, default E. Return to the game after reading note. Press it again. I'd like to read it. Password. Chop chop. I mean, I wonder what this is. Use it with E. Da -da -da. Hacking combination of wits and computers. It allows you to hack into password protected items. You will be prompted with Control C to attempt your hacking feat. Value of your hacking skill is equal to or greater than the difficulty of the encryption. You will be successful. Left click to. Password. Da -da -da. Uh. 
good. I would like to take more than two steps game, I think. Oh, it's been some time, I know, but... Automated system assets. Key to the stairwell at the back of the chop shop. I will take this. I mean, I don't mind. I can do this shit. Inventory default I. Uh, key we keys are located in equipment category on the key ring. Most keys once used will not be needed again and are removed. Some doors have magnetic locks and cannot be picked open. They must be opened with the appropriate key card. If I go poke. Oh look, I have shit. Key ring. I have a lock pick and I have a wallet with fuck all. Come on. Let me pick it up. I know you want to. Whoa. Oh, time to go. It's not important, the diploma is not important, there's no change in the couch, can't steal any of the records. You've been wounded by this bat. This blue bar represents your current level of health. As you sustain regular damage, it will turn black. If your health is completely depleted, you suffer final death and your game is over. Your health regenerates over time. When you are feeding, your health regenerates much faster. Good. Almost. Your health bar... If your health bar begins to turn yellow, it means you have sustained aggravated damage. Certain hazards like fire, supernatural attacks, cause aggravated damage. This takes much longer to heal than regular damage. Hey. Healing. Yay! No change from this coat changer. Well, shit. On a fence on that, how we? Dexterity, stamina, strength. Fucking waste of unlife, the bot Kratos. You get a wing? Hey, hey, look at them potholes. Those will close up soon enough. Better feed, though. <laughs> There's someone down the stairs here. Not the freshest catch, but it'll do. Does the blood have a vintage and bouquet? Juice bags with a pedigree. That's the good stuff. But you gotta take what you can get. You ever had a PhD kid? Ooh, that's good stuff. The thirsty rather rarely avoid unawares. Remember what I said though. Don't kill them. At least not the innocent ones. You're a monster now. Make no mistake. One of the damned and the fallen. You need to hold on to every last shred of humanity you have. Want if I drain him dry? An innocent's an innocent. If you kill one, even a worthless bum, even by accident, it's gonna cost you a piece of your own humanity. Bring you close to that beast you got welling up inside you. Yes, the beast coiled beneath the surface. The beast, it's always there, waiting to take over. When it does, 
It's like a wild animal wearing your skin. Desperate, scared, reckless. They'll do anything to survive, and it's you that has to deal with the consequences. What if a human tries to harm me? <laughs> I said innocent human. If some asshole levels a 12 gauge your way, you drain him, skin him, and bash in his skull. Self preservation is a vital part of humanity, after all. My big part, in fact. <laughs> drain, skin, bash, and dash. In other words, if that asshole, lick him. The only way to fight. Such lines divide this world from the last. Alright, now go feed. Be careful though. He's gonna drain fast. Hey! Oh, you're not having a good day, my friend. Oi! Remember, you want to avoid draining your victims. Draining innocent humans will give you a penalty to your humanity. Or humanity, the closer you get to the beast. If your humanity gets too low, you begin to lose control of your character. This is known as frenzying and may result in a mass breed violation if you are around humans. Thanks, Dave. Crab nibble, you say. Thank you, sir. If you'd stop crab nippling everywhere, I'm sure this wouldn't have happened. Not quite as good, huh? Yeah, you could do worse. There's some rats down the way. You think I'm kidding? You can survive feeding on animals, but you can stomach that kind of thing. His neck tasted like how your breath smells. I need to floss the flannel from my fangs. Rats can be fed upon to gain a single blood point. You will find some rats in the other uh, end of the alley near the yellow windows. Killing rats has no impact on your humanity score. Hey. Humans do not react well when they see live rats being sucked on, however. I can understand this. Running this way. Excuse me, can I lick you? And it's done! So oh, bad. <laughs> you rat sucker! <laughs> hey, I don't care what you do, but just so you know, polite vampire society looks down on that kind of thing. Etiquette demands they pass the salt for my prudent taste. Keep it down. Got someone around the way here. Only one. Not too much of a threat by himself, but you never know if there's more in shouting range. You're gonna have to sneak past. Where shall I sneak? The building across from us with the garage door. There's some double doors on the far side. I'll meet you inside. Just stay low and stick to the shadows. And don't let him see you. All right. Now you see me, then you don't. Alright, go. God. Sneaking, combination of dexterity and stealth. See, it's snell. Mm. Stealth is a feat that allows you to move along among your victims and enemies without being detected. You must be crouched to sneak. You can crouch by pressing the crouch key. Default control. Meter to your left indicates the proximity of your enemies and their chance of detecting you. They are looking away. Green means you are completely safe. Yellow means you might be seen. Red means they will definitely see your neon colored ass. Enemies' chance of detecting you is directly tied to your sneaking feet. If you are detected, your enemies will often say as much and come to investigate. Hot snow beetle! This is not a good level for me. Wee, boing, boom. 
Last man and those crab nipples. Sorry, where am I going? That one. Can't remember. Might be through the game, let's find out. Fizz! Do 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 do. Only when I'm standing still right now. So hysteria. Boink. You've been detected by your enemy. Try again and remember to crouch. Alright. You've been detected. Doesn't me. I think I'm going to Be quiet, they're inside here. Seems that shovel head outside just got separated from the tank. Move it too. Go take care of it. Don't worry. It's probably cleaner than you. How can you see his shade from here? My own green paint is fairly fresh. He's probably just turned and beaten over the head. Let this be there. Shock tree. Cannon fodder. Put him out of his misery. Ashes to ashes, rust to he dust. Vampire, so be ready. vampire no he meets his maker. Go get him. Getting. Engage in unarmed combat. If you need to equip your fists, then attack. Equip your fist, press the immediately key. Default F1 until your feast, feast, your feasts, your fist icon is highlighted in your melee inventory list. And then click the left mouse button. Pressing the attack key, default left click initiates your attack. Your unarmed combat feat is a combination of strength and brawl. It directly affects your success in unarmed combat. There are different attacks depending on what your direction you are moving and... When you initiate your attack, try different combinations of moving and attacking in the upcoming battle. You can, almost, you can also block your enemy's attacks by pressing and holding the attack mode key, default tap. You put your fists away by pressing the holster weapon key, default H. Isn't it? Hmm. I want that. You've just picked up the tire iron. To equip this weapon, press the melee weapon key, default F1, until the tire iron is highlighted in your melee inventory list. Then click the left mouse button. Pressing the attack key, default left click, will initiate the attack. Press left click to continue. This icon indicates the weapon you currently have. For ranged weapons, there are a number indicating your current reserve of ammunition. Later on in the game, you will find armor to protect yourself. Equip it the same way you would weapons by pressing the armor key, default F3, until the armor is highlighted, then clicking the left mouse button. Aye. Good with this. That slinky action, though. That's definitely no beetle. Do, 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 do. Whee! Savannah going all out. 
better head underground, avoid straight bullets. Hi. This plan is fine to me. Good. Hey. There's nothing else I can make here. Well done. Excuse me, I'd like to. Well! I had shins once upon a time, many, many years ago. You are in position to perform a stealth kill, you will see this icon. Stealth kills have the advantage of being silent. If you perform a stealth kill, equip your fists or a melee weapon, crouch and sneak up behind your victim until you see the stealth kill icon. Then press the use key, default E. Or when you are higher levels, you the attack key, default left click. Oh. You're a tutorial bastard, aren't you? <laughs> Surprise, motherfucker! Yes, 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 yes. Oh, this far away. That didn't seem like it would be lethal. The sabots getting scattered. I'm gonna keep an ear to the ground. Be careful going forward here. Could be a whole mess of them holed up. Both of them. The face imprint on the bow. Mmm. We'll go check that out in a second. Uh, passive and targeted. Passive directly affect you. Targeted disciplines affect your enemies. All disciplines cost a certain amount of blood from your blood pool to activate. Thank you. Blood buff is another ability that uh, common to all vampires. Scroll the mouse wheel to select blood buff. Then use the power key default right click to activate it. Blood buff gives you a temporary bonus to all of your physical attributes. This is useful to in a variety of situations, like picking a lock that would otherwise be too difficult. Note in the Elysium areas, you can use blood buff while picking a lock only. Oh. Real shit. Hmm. So there is a face print into it. Alcavians have three unique disciplines. Auspice, second sight allows them to see auras of others. Dimension, mystical ability to cause visions and madness. And obfuscate, vampiric invisibility. Auspice gives you ability to see other people's auras. The aura color indicates individuals in disposition. Red means ha ha. Auspice also increases your perception, important to both range combat and inspection. Use of auspice is not a masquerade of violation. Hey. There's a guard up ahead. Use auspice to see his aura through the machinery. Use the scroll wheel to select auspice. Use the power key to activate it. Remember, auspice is a passive discipline. Make sure to pay attention to the discipline timer on the bottom right of your screen. Once you see the guard, equip the tire iron, move forward, and kill his ass. Hey. I think the patch I had to install might be giving me trouble. Excuse me, motherfucker. Again, I don't think a tire iron would be lethal to most vampires. No need to go 
go stern up the hornet's nest so we know the score though. It's <coughs> here. Come to an elevator around the way. Good. Till our next encounter at the elevator. Don't let him catch you. I'll do the finishing. Vampiric invisibility. You must be out of sight when you activate the discipline with one level of you have to be crouched in most of them to stay invisible. The use of obfuscate is not a masquerade violation. Crowd is up ahead. Use obfuscate to sneak past him. Scroll the mouse wheel to this and use the power key. First level is unique. As long as you stand still, the effect lasts indefinitely. Good. You've been detected. Try again. Dimension is a vampiric power causing visions and madness in others. Dimension is a targeted discipline with the effect and its length varies with each level. Use of dimension is not a masquerade violation. I can do whatever I the fuck I want other people's faces. Got it. There are two guards up ahead. Use dimension to incapacitate them and then kill them. You have two, uh, level 2 dimension, known as Mass Hallucination. Scroll the mouse wheel to select Mass Hallucination, move near the guards, and use the power key to activate the discipline. Mass Hallucination is an AoE discipline. Both guards, being fairly close together, will suffer penalties in their combat abilities. Equip your tire iron and eat their faces in. I want this one first. Stop that. Yeah. Berg. Winky. I know this game has surprisingly good graphics for how old it is. Do -do. Good to know. Alright. Do we lick these locals? Yeah, they probably seem too much. Here, take this thirty-eight. Fucking pea shooter, but a few shots just to take down the human. These kind of peas are undoubtedly deadly. Well, I'm gonna want it back, so don't go die and lose it. I don't use guns much, and noise either. 
clumsy, practically useless against vampires, but still, the ginger's got to keep up with the times. And in modern day Los Angeles, that means coming strapped. Um, sound foolish and feeble. Well, you know, some are more lethal than others, of course. Watch out for those shotguns, Alex. Those things can smart, I tell you. I'll make sure to bypass any boomsticks. Head up, clear out what's left. Can't have them running their mouths about you. I'm gonna make sure there's no stragglers around outside. I will do this. Ooh, I have a 38 revolver. And aim worth shit, Captain. Hello, buddy. Into the elevator, I'm going up. Excuse me, motherfucker. Oh, I'm not loud. So much more worth it to do that. Baseball bat. That's it, kiddo. Just like that, it's all over. Everyone slinks back to their corners of the city for the night. Only this blood drama continues. Until the next night, when the Camarilla finds some way to strike back. Harry Dodge spinning all that, and so on, and so on, and so on. These are the nightly battles of this ancient game. Well, to be honest, it came at a, well, an interesting time, let's say. The Camarilla, the Sabbat. Now, in L.A., these are the new kids on the block. There's already plenty of kindred at stakes down in California long before them. Now, we got every ancient kindred rivalry playing out all over the city. A lot of tension out there. A lot of fear. A lot of jittery, high-strung predators clinging to their little pieces of eternity. Hell is my eternal madness. Oh, boy. Well, I think they're looking for you outside. Guess you've got a cab to catch. I was hoping to fill you in on a little bit more, but... Ah, hell, we'll figure it all out. We will now take your piece to the back. If you make it back, stop in at the last round. In on the politics. <laughs> now that's the stuff that'll kill you. 
Good luck. We will be there soon. Two mm. experience points. By pressing character editor default C, you can access your character sheet and spend your experience where you see fit. Unspent experience points will stay in your available experience pool. Sounds good. Where's what? Thinking. Dexterity and stealth. Oh, cost. Oh, that's unfortunate. Cost three for everything. Except for these, these cost ten. Oh, let's cancel that. Tell me I can do something, then tell me immediately that I cannot. Lulu! That bags! Take that. Hope you've slipped into something comfortable on the way. Just needed a cool radio thing. Ooh, a normal watch. Money, one hundred dollars. At your convenience, please come and visit me in my uh, in my home downtown. I leave you this guide. Dark blood, our curse, a light. This verse. Such power I sense in one so young. Come find me where burns a mystical sun. M. Strauss. Premier Regent. I. Oops, wrong button. Uh. That's simply unfortunate. Uh, password for my computer is Sunrise. Ah. Again, wrong button. I'm not allowed. Da, 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 da. Enter email. One. Imperial will contact you with the ride. Waste no time meeting with him. SL. Uh, da, 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 da. Of course. Uh, I mean, I could. Uh, come over to my place once you get situated and we'll talk about what you'll need to get the job done. I'm going to pick up explosives right now. Some astrolite. I should be back by the time you come over. I am at 24 Main Street in number 4. Walk to the end of the alley and my billing is the next one on the right. And the game begins. A pawn is moved. There we go. But don't go anywhere. I'm just kidding. Should I say? Good 
Korean chicken recently challenged fellow Lin Lin people to a taste test between Korean chicken and the other Korean whole class. Let's listen to the Korean made the claim. Carnival of Death. Gruesome remains found on the pier. Police baffled. I have been given a new quest on this. Excuse me, are you home? I mean, you don't even have anything in your house. Not even any medication, I guess. You don't even have a doorknob. I think this place might be a bit of a... Yeah. You ain't got mail, Jeeves. Violating must read. A horrible thing and you should not do it. You got you got some change, mister? Da -da -da. You cannot quench your thirst here in the lonely do dark wood. I know better. Appears to me that that man is trying to die. <clears throat> what strings pull you, stranger? Nothing. No, nothing. Just uh, waiting for a friend to uh, get off work. He's um, a police officer. Old oh, no. buddy. He, uh, he should be bringing his dog as well. It's a, a Rottweiler. Wonderful attack dog. They are. Da -da -da. I could persuade you to provide me with funds recently pilfered from me. Short on cash right now. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Luck is a limpid leper. Oh well. Yeah. What was that? Oh nothing. Twenty-four main. I think this is Main Street. I mean, it doesn't seem to go much further down there, and it ends there. Not much of a Main Street. Name. Elysium. Uh, follow the dead fucker. Got it. Pardon me, sir. You're dying. Those mothers ripped me off. I'm dying here. Oh. Are you the fleet-footed god? That's what you need. Oh, shit, you're a Malkavian, aren't you? Damn, that's the last thing I need. They're bleeding all over the carpet. I can't even understand what the hell you're saying. You only need to open your eyes. Now tell me your tale. Hey, uh, I went... Uh, what is this? Oh, it's my rib. Oh, holy shit, my rib is poking through my side? Oh, I'm all numb. You gotta look and tell me. What da da Hippocrates is not my forefather. Who broke you, Mercury? Goddamn chemist. Get your it's hands on this in L.A. I verified him. Organization seem reliable. The guy mixes up speed. His crew sells it. Occasionally he does explosives. I set up a drop. I show up at the beach with the money, right? Four of these guys, they come out of nowhere. Junkie pricks hit me with a bat. <coughs> Feels like I got a friggin' horse kick in it. I never should have gone alone. Amateur. Should have handled that place. Goddamn dirty Cali rat bastards. Those cocksuckers beat me rotten, left me for a stiff. I had to crawl to my car, crawl my ass up here. The vamp blood's the only thing holding me together. Shit, they got the money, they got the astrolite.
Well, the demons who attacked you, Mercury. Small time sons of bitches live out in a dump on the beach. Four or five of them. And one's got the explosives as Danny. You sound much better, suddenly, friend. Tell me where my feet must travel. I'm in a pool in my own blood, and you want friggin' directions. Right, all right. Uh, down the street, in the parking garage, stairs down to the beach. On the right. <laughs> Those better not be some of my last words. Mercury is not so fleet, so must I be in his stead? You gotta, you gotta get it back from him. Maybe reason with him, maybe break in. I don't know. I don't want to kill him. Do whatever you people do. I blew do it. Do I know. My assistance may help you greatly. Yeah, if you could... Oh, something just started leaking. I need something for the pain. You deserve the pain that has found you. No, oh, no, that doesn't sound like me. I will return with some numbers, Mercury. Uh, one more thing. How about the deal? I mean it. If you tell anyone about this, I'm dead. I'm begging you. I got a way of getting people what they need. If you don't say anything, I can help you out. Your words will be weighed, Mercury. Farewell! Have you crossed the Dark River, Mercury? Yeah. Keep your heart pumping. Farewell. Password protected, no handles. Sneak with Crouch. Stay in the shadows. Watch the light meter. Higher sneaking feet, the harder it would be for enemies to see you. Young man. Again, the guy with the fucking crab nipples. Hey, baby, looking for a date? Uh, you must be talking to someone else. I am not here. Mercury is currently in retrograde. Slash the living worst part of a great weed wagon. Someone was watching me. I swear on my badge today that there was something just out of sight. For a split second, I thought I caught one of those five card games pull out of my waistband. Maybe the day will get to another of those fleeting thoughts. <laughs> Maybe it was a werewolf. <laughs> or a vampire. Or a vampire. <laughs> I won't myself. Go after Ted later. Do -do -do. Oh, good. Please give up quickly. Oh, 
Ve rüyadan çenil gel el attan istiyorsun. Ah, the demons who broke the god. Who see the twisted strings of my tremors? Speak more. Never mind. You wouldn't understand. I'm talking to you in what can only barely count as some sort of poetic warp. May the moon light your twisted path, shadow seer. Farewell. Listen, it's like the tarot cards fade a thousand times now. We know we can't hear you, right? We're mining our business. No reason to hassle the weakling. Have you seen the bat wielding beach demons? Strange way of saying things, mate. But if you be looking for those nasty looking blades always stomping through, really? you should try right to the chain link gate. Tell me the tale of this thin little group. You ain't been here to run us off. Oh, but a pity to be trapped within invisible walls. Someone citing domain or in the worst Who case, hunting us for sport. Who is the hunter and why? All seem to have come down with the same disease. Oh, hell, who am I kidding? We're bad boys, all right? And we seem to be the runners, the mistakes. A few types call us the bloods. I say we're all equally screwed. Whose clan blood is it that runs in your veins? See, I've heard all that before, and, and I still don't know what the hell anyone's talking about. I'd like to know just what I've become. We'd all like right. to know just. Just what the, the hell kind of devil's contract we've apparently signed. How did your blood go from thick to thin? I just come to town for the surf tournament. Seems like years ago, but it's well, it's been about six months now. Every time the finals, I used to hit the local diner after the beach party fizzled out in the AM. That's where I met her. Ah, your dark muse. She had a natural beauty. Not like oh, cool. plastic dolls littering the sand. Her name was Lily. I remember introducing myself, the way she seemed grateful for the company. Well, a few you months after I met her, we were on the beach alone. Tell me your tale, little sickling. She tried, tried to, to tell me what she was. was. I didn't understand. And so she showed me. I was furious with her when I took it all in. I cursed her, her and left, never really knowing what, what I was. Well, I realized now how she must have felt. So here I am, eh? The mystery to myself. And is your flower dead? Clinically, yes. But honestly, I don't know. I suppose I'd have moved on by now. I didn't think she'd show up one of these nights. There's a lot I've got left to say to her. For all children of the night, bloodthirsty and damned. That's what Lily's trying to tell. But what I don't understand are the rules and the terms and the, the reasons reason. some of them are at our throats claiming we're harbingers of the apocalypse. That's what I want to know. Does the thin blood flow through all of you? Right. Most of them just recently arrived in LA. Got chased off by the Sabbath or some such thing from their home city. They're more in the dark than I am. They're a good bunch, but yeah, I've been through a lot. It's affected them. Perhaps I can delve the mysteries of your thin blood. I hope you had better luck than I did. No one's been particularly <laughs> friendly to me in the city. The only reason we're in Santa Monica is because we haven't been chased out yet. Yeah. Secrets hiding from you may show themselves to me. Oh, we'd appreciate it. Oh, before I forget, name's Eve. The black-haired beauty over there is Rosa. She's the future, Eve. so she says. That nervous Eve. place Eve. is Copper. The only one who can't speak so well is Julius. Eve. Kids bluff with her. They let it run. Well, might I find thin little secrets? I think no one will talk about it. This all started that night in the diner. Maybe you could start there. My shadow darkens other domains. Farewell! Look here. Doo -doo. Kick, 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 kick. Up. Pardon me while I gas my way upstairs. <laughs>
Oh no, I am being shot. Oh, hi. Come here and find out, Jingle Bear. Much better. Excuse me. I wish to pee on your face. Excuse me. Doubt it. Currently, I can't fight this motherfucker. Doing. I'm not sure what game that is. Might be another Masquerade game as far as I know. Hmm. Uh 
Five's a lot of money. Alright, this is one of the ones I can't real quick. Excuse me? Oh, hi. Nope. Uh, stereo. Resting in here, apparently. Maybe not. It's off permanently now. I mean, I might still be able to access her, but. Nope. Unfortunate. Shaped strangely, like I'm one to talk. You're talking to someone who isn't here. Look at the Ashman. I used to love swimming out into her at the crack of dawn. Might I mine your grey matter? Well, might I seek precious secrets of your thin plasma? Seems no one will talk about it. It's all stale at that night in the. All right. Goodbye. I'm hacking on. I have a feeling I may be shot over here. Maybe. Well, that's where Ted is. Oh, an arcade. River Raid, Blood Quest, Pitfall. I like Pitfall. Call of Duty. Rampage, one of my favorites, honestly. Blood Quest, River Raid again. King Neptune. Blood Quest, Pitfall, Call of Duty, 13 stimulants in every bottle. Liquid Demon Seed. I think I know that guy. This is close to priming. Okay, can I go lick it? You're gently god, sir. There's no way over here. The things I wish to look and find the flavor have been barred to me by the tastiest of steel gates. And a thin strip of candy dropping. Away! Hey, pretty, pretty, shiny, shiny. Wooden steak. Ooh. Oh, wrong button.
food and steak. I can't use it. Estrogen. Do not take it male. Got it! A normal watch. Replica of a much nicer watch. I mean... Astrolite. Do not lick. Got it! Car stereo. Sell it for money. Got it. Into a wall and over the woods. Directly into a loading screen. And I'm out. Because I get stuck on things. Okay, so the pink car's there. Which means I need Main Street. This way. Towards the hooker! Pardon me, Dick. Could you give me directions to the nearest out? I have something to laugh about. You need it. No question. Hmm? Oh, this is a pool of blood here. Yeah, it's fine. Oh, look for more. Oh, do, 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 do. Okay. Hey, dead guy, you alive yet? Have you crossed the Dark River, Mercury? I've got the boom boom. I sent them to the other side. Your gold? Yes! Here's your gold, Mercury. Where do my feet lead me next? Who tells me where the House of Wares is? Bertram Tong. He's one of you types. If there's anyone who knows more than me about this city, it's him. Unfortunately, Tong's hiding out at the moment. The worm hides in the turbid wick liquid. Tong's laying low because of Therese. Therese Borman, you know her? Anyway, word is Therese and Tong are feuding. I don't know the details. My take's that Tong thinks he's about to get whacked, so he's gone underground till Therese calls it off. We want to put that warehouse into orbit anytime soon. We're going to have to get Therese to call off the feud. Where is the dark daughter of Janus? She and her sister Jeanette, they run the asylum. Some freaky customers frequent that place. We try not to do business there. What can you tell me of the dark daughter of Janus? She's the woman around here. Power player. Nice looking blood for a dead chick, but uh, personality like stone. You need to paint a picture of someone. Who exactly? The white daughter of Janus. Therese, Therese, I don't like, but I can respect her. Jeanette's different. I don't know what to make of her. She's a little, you know, in the head. I don't know. Therese is well like you, and I would think so is Jeanette, but I hear rumors about her. What whispers? Jeanette got a body built for bedroom. I got close acquaintances close to have conquered that territory. But I asked the main man, and he says you types, you know, can't or don't or do that kind of thing. Anyway, whatever she is, I hear Jeanette's a wild girl. I need you to paint me another picture. Who exactly? The worm in his black bath. I don't know him myself. I'd like to meet the guy. He's kind of a local legend. He and Therese seem to be contenders for this city. He's crafty. Smart guy. Can't get anything bad about him. Tell me of the lady and her people. Who exactly? The fleet footed god. What's to tell? tell? I can get anything anyone wants at any time. I could say it's my calling. Till the astrolite. Wasn't anything I couldn't handle. Well, back east some shit went down. Big apple to pull back. I hate LA, but what are you gonna do? Tell me more of the blood. Right. You're straight off the bus. Once a month I get fed vampire blood. Heals me faster. Makes me stronger than a normal human. I don't age. By looking at me you wouldn't realize it, but I'm almost 60. You need to find some answers in the wrinkles of your brain. Who exactly? I'm no longer here. Alright, never mind. 
Uh, Lady of the Sea. Tell me of the chess piece on the lady's board. All right, never mind. Haha, <laughs> I'm leaving. You can't find me. I'm invisible. Invisingbo. Oh no. Shiny potion lasts a long time. What does it do? Lasts a long time. Well, what is it? A shiny potion. Do, 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 do. I am actually. Ow. What the? Going to end the stream here. Bye bye.